Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a really good day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for the latest in reality TV, influencer TV, or pop culture, honey, I got you. <gasps> Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd be so grateful. All right, you guys, as you know, when I'm sitting on the floor, it just means one thing that I'm taking a little work break and I have some breaking Britney updates. And yes, I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday. It is my house shirt. So whenever you see this bitch, it is breaking stuff. Um, okay, so listen, listen. There are some emails being leaked. They're everywhere right now of an alleged email. I gotta, you know, I gotta say alleged. Alleged emails between Lou Taylor and GW, which was um, Jamie's uh, lawyer, right? Now listen, I have to tell you before I read these emails and try and explain it. I'm not Elle Woods, bitch. I'm not legally blonde. I'm, I've, I've been to Harvard to take a picture. I did a TikTok outside of it, but that's as close as it's been. So I'm not a, pro I'm not a, a professional law person, bitch. So I can barely do the timetables, okay, bitch? But I am thick and gorgeous and charismatic. So that is what counts. But listen, let's read these emails. Okay, so listen, it starts off by... Um, from Lou Taylor, allegedly, I, I'm going to say allegedly 5,000 times in this video, so don't come for me. So it says, yeah, much lower and a good mark. Oh, Lou Taylor to GW. Okay. Yeah, much lower and a good marker. Let me know. I would like to get that done. Okay. I don't know what that means, but anyways, this is the part, right? So GW respond. Oh, and remember the name GW. Remember the name GW for a second. Okay. Um, we're going to talk about GW. Okay, so it says here, this is from GW to Lou Taylor, allegedly. So it says, no, the probate code is very specific and all that compensate, compens, girl, I can't read, all, oh, sorry, <laughs> specific, okay, let me start that up, let me start that off again, bitch, you guys know I'm a mess. Okay, so it says, no, the probate code is very specific that all compensation paid to the conservator must be approved by the court, okay? If we did this without court approval, Jamie would be subject to immediate removal. So if they did what Lou was suggesting, Jamie could be removed, right? We're on the same page. Okay. Um, we can hopefully and probably keep it off the public radar. Look how fucking shady. Um, and Sam has said he will approve. I like the idea of mirroring Dixon's comp, GW. No idea what that fucking meant. But okay, listen, right? So Lou Taylor re allegedly responds and says, okay, we can't just put it in the tour budget. Ah, so basically now again, I'm not a paralegal, but from what I understand, okay, this was in 2009. So this was like in the middle of the circus tour, right? So what I understand is that they wanted to hide expenses paid to themselves as budgets of the tour. Basically, hide expenses from the court and the public and just pay themselves. So, listen, Brittany, so uh, if this is all true, which I believe so, but it's my opinion, allegedly, uh, I, Brittany could have easily been a billionaire by now. Her net worth, I checked, is 60 million on Google. I don't know how, like, you know, av um, accurate that is. But anyways, she could easily have been a freaking millionaire. You know, one thing that kind of, like, makes me so crazy and, like, I don't understand is the circus tour, I believe, started in 2009. I want to say March 2009. Let me just double check that real quick. I believe it was March 2009. Um... Hey, Google, what date did the Britney Spears Circus Tour start? Circus starring Britney Spears lasted from March 3rd to November 29th, 2009. So that's about 97 uh, shows I saw on Google. Thank you, boo. And she, in this tour, was 
literally flying in the air with fire everywhere. When she performed Touch of My Hand, she was literally holding on ropes and two dancers. She was okay to do that. Then she was okay to record the circus album, go on tour 97, do the US twice, go on the Femfits Hall tour, right? Then do residency. She could do all of that stuff, but she could not get Tylenol. She couldn't see a friend without permission. She couldn't go to the corner store without it being such a hassle. And they were literally, in my opinion, opinion allegedly masking and and literally hiding expenses being paid to them from Britney's hard work she could do all of that but she can't be free now what type of bullshit is that anyways do you guys know who the GW is right so I for some reason like girl listen I maybe I should be legally blonde bitch band and snap um Listen, oh, and by the way, the circus tour, it grossed over $160 million, okay? How about that, all right? That's just, oh, okay. Anyways, so do you guys remember GW, right? I For some reason, I was like, who is GW? Who is GW? Who is GW? Like, I, I, I remember that name. Now, listen to this. This is from the, Fem uh, no, sorry, the Britney for the record. Look at this. This is my dad. So then, the fact that she could like be this charismatic and just try and make a joke out of it, but that's the GW. So she is mocking him, which means that it's like one of those things where, in my opinion, he would like always call GW in case something went not his way. And then look at this part um, when she when she's done mocking him and everyone leaves the room. He wants her phone. Look at this. Give me that phone. I'll hold that damn phone for you. No, Daddy. <sighs> you know what's so crazy? Like, it, this is so crazy to me. The fact that, like, they got away with it. You know, no, but, like, for like, think about it. Like, let's just for a second, right? For a second, just a second. Um, it was rumored that that um, this man, Jamie Lynn or Jamie Spears, all the fucking pow pow me ma Jamie, fuck, all the bitch that wrote a book that nobody read. Um, it's so insane to me that like this was allowed to happen, and that she did circus, femme fatale, Britney Jean, and glory under this conservatorship, and she did albums, she wrote albums, she went on tour, the femme fatale tour. Hang on, femme fatale tour. It had 79 shows. So, you know, that's a shit ton of shows. The, she traveled the whole world. And then let's see Piece of Me Residency. How many shows was that? Uh, Piece of Me Residency dates. Let's see. Um, it, it went from December 27, 2013 to December 31st, 2017. And how many shows, girl? How many shows? How many shows? Let me see the shows. The shows. It had 200 and 48 million, I'm oh, sorry, 48 million, 248 shows. So she did all of that. She put on 248, girl, hang on, because I need I need to like do this in my head. She, where's the fucking calculator? Girl, where's the calculator? Where is it? I never use it, hang on. Calculator, cal oh, it's right here. So she did, for for, for um, Circa, she did 97. For Femfit, oh, how much was this Piece of Me residency? She did 248 shows in the Piece of Me residency. I'm not counting the tour. And then she did the Femfit tour, which we saw, but I, I forgot how many I said. Um, it was 79 shows, okay? 79 shows. And then let's add the Piece of Me shows, which the Piece of Me tour, which it wasn't that many. Piece of Me tour. How many shows was that? It had, and this is not counting. Um, this is not counting, of course. Every, uh, you know, all the appearances. It had thirty-one shows. Okay, so thirty-one shows. Boom. So, girl, really, bitch. Oh my God, two forty-eight plus thirty-one. Hang on. Thirty-one plus seventy-nine plus. 
So she did roughly around 456 shows during this conservatorship. That's two, three world tours and a residency. That's four albums, you know, promotion, special appearances, lingerie, um, fashion shows in Copenhagen, all of these things, uh, uh, um, uh, award shows, and they're here trying to disguise their expenses through the hard work that she is doing. And yet they say that she that she's not capable of making her own decisions. It is the craziest thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. Anyways, um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, I will say it again. Everything I said in this video is my opinion. And allegedly, but you know, you, you and I know, bitch. You and I know. And again, I'm not a lawyer if I misunderstood something i apologize again i'm not l woods i just wanted to give you guys the latest but i love you all so much thank you for watching and um subscribe if you haven't already turn the notification bell on so you know every time i post i gotta go back to work but i'll see you guys tomorrow in our um in our show i love you guys so much bye